mariachi music, in my opinion, for me to come and do mariachi music here in the U.S., it just is just amazing because we represent our people, our culture, our background, our, our own families. Like everywhere we go and every time we put this outfit on, it just makes you so proud because you're representing who you are and who you come from. Not just because, of, not just for yourself, but like I said, all of your family and, 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 and your people, man. Pretty much, right? He said. Well, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's not just a job. Uh, personally, I, to me, it's an adventure, and it's what can you say? Getting paid for something you love doing. There's no other words for that. Man, just. <laughs> the music, the environment, uh, my friends and people I play with, new people that I meet. You get to be at all the parties and uh, <laughs> you get to just, you know, uh, communicate with the crowd and get those applause and, and of course uh, get paid at the end of the day. I grew up listening to mariachi music, but this band, I, I enjoy it because it's got a lot of variety and and a lot of um, great stories behind the Hispanic tradition, you know, so. But when you first start doing mariachi, you don't have a desire to listen to it because you don't know about the art. Once you get to know the art, you start getting into it. It's just like somebody that starts drawing, they might not know who Picasso is, but if you start painting, trust me, within the years, they're gonna be interested in Picasso and all, that, and all these artists, so, I mean, it's just part of the, Everything comes along as you, as you get into it. You start on, on, on. Okay. It's whatever. This is Erasmo. Violin player. He can't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> What's gonna happen tomorrow? He thinks he gets better looking every day. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Look who's talking. No, we're gonna go play right now. We're gonna have a long night until 10 o'clock. Yeah. It's too hot out there, but we gotta make a. We're gonna, gonna, go, make a we're gonna go work out. Do what we gotta do. And then we're gonna go get wasted tonight. He's, he's, he's drunk enough to be there already. <laughs> Como no, continuamos con esta siguiente canción dedicada a los padres, como no, enseguida vamos a mandar el saludo. Esta canción también viene dedicada, un tremendo saludo a la familia, más bien al señor Manuel Prado, como lo que está de este lado también, que es, es papá, como no, bienvenido, bienvenido aquí a Estelas. Enseguida les vamos a cantar las mañanitas también a todos los papás que vinieron con nosotros esta mañana, pero por lo tanto les dedicamos esta canción, El Rey, como no. Teaching lessons and things like that. 
uh, with Mariachi at the elementary. So my mom pretty much took us over there. From there we went to like a community center where they were teaching you as well. And that's pretty much why I learned. So I learned that. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the younger people here from San Antonio, they learn Mariachi at high school and middle schools. But I really didn't learn that way. I kind of learned more by myself and at the community centers and little classes that I would go to and things like that. Um, I was inspired about 20 years ago when I was 10 years old um, by the by Mariachi Vargas, which is the best mariachi in the world. Um, mainly, that was, those are my main inspiration right there, Mariachi Vargas and of course Jose Alfredo Jimenez, Vicente Fernandez, Miguel Aceves Mejia, Pedro Infante, Jorge Negrete, and the list goes on and on. Not the easy life, everybody's got to do it. The rest of them walk away. See, this is the real work, man. The pain is just a, a joking around. This is the trabajo de verdad. Subir y bajar el piano. We got the little helper team. Oh, yeah. That's Mr. Our, Mr. That's Ray our, Allen. Our crew right there. It's a, a roadie. Ray, say hi to the camera. Say hi. I'm just working. We're busy. <laughs> We all stay in contact. I can honestly say, but we also have that bond to where if I know I need something, I can count on him. If he needs something, he can count on me or any of the other guys. I think we're all pretty tight in the group. It has to be that way. If this is your dream, you can achieve on it, go ahead. Prepare yourself, study. Just like any, any other career, we consider this a career. We, stay in school. Stay in school, study your arts, practice your instrument, dedication, it makes perfect man. Practice hard, learn a lot of music, and uh, yeah, and you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta sing, sing. Imitate the, the old guys, that's where you learn. You know, give it a try, you might, you know, either you really like it when you start off or you don't know, but I say still give it a try. And I guarantee you, more than likely, you'll fall in love with it. And you're going to keep going and just, you know, you, you, you learn um, from your teachers or you learn just by listening to CDs and things like that. And just, you know, keep an open ear and you'll, you'll, you'll learn and you'll pick it up. And eventually you'll become pretty good. For the rest of my life, that's right. Until I can. Until my hands are crippled. Pretty much, uh, as much as time as God gives me with this the talent and the ability and, and uh, desire of playing with the mariachi, definitely, you know, the opportunity is there, which, you know, mainly it usually is because there's always, you know, you can go to different groups and things like that. And, you know, as long as I can, I will. So the big man up there says it's time to go? I think so. All the money in the world, I'm, I'm still gonna come and we can spend a bunch of money. We do play it this time. Go, and go do a gig or two. <laughs> and we're gonna come here on Sunday. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I see myself doing this. Yeah. This is for other people that see the other side of mariachi musicians. Because a lot of people see the mariachi as something, not as a, not the human aspect of it, maybe. A lot of people just label us, label us as mariachi. The way Hollywood portrays it too, like the annoying musician, that's just like, oh. But in reality, I mean, as you've heard from all the other members, there's a lot of music, music uh, background when it comes to studying. I mean, everybody can, can read music. We're just like any other guys that work and